have yet another shopper drop because the holiday makeup leaks are coming in strong. So we're going to be talking about the newest Huda Beauty launch, which is going to be her very anticipated yearly big palette. I'm really excited to talk about this. I would also like to add that there is a whole collection <laughs> that is launching, but I am so uninterested that in this video, I literally pretended everything else didn't exist. So everything besides the palette is a drop. What do we have? Highlighter, mascara, a lip set, bleh, drop. Okay, so this is all about the palette, but I did want to acknowledge that there is a collection. Anyways, onward we go. Tomorrow there will be a makeup review coming, so if you're tired of the shop and drops, I will have in hand the NARS blush palette, so keep an eye out for that review tomorrow. But I've learned I really love just talking about makeup, talking about the launches on the market, and talking it through with you guys, see what questions you have, what you want to see from me. So anyways, today Huda Beauty revealed her Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. Now there is a wait list if you want to sign up early for that. I will have it linked down below. I've seen this palette before. It was leaked a little earlier, but Huda takes it seriously when her products get leaked before she reveals it. So I definitely wanted to wait until she came out and showed the palette. I've watched her YouTube video, which you can also see on her Instagram page. But let's take a look at it together. So I am getting this from her Instagram page. And this is the first promo pick that she has of the Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. You can see she has a beautiful gold on her eyelid. And then here's the palette here. Don't worry, we will get a closer look at the colors. But I was trying to decide if this palette is cool or warm, right? Because this side of the palette, very cool, smoky. This side of the palette is quite warm. Huda loves her warm, peachy, matte shades, base shades, transition shades, which I'm a little tired of from her, but she likes it. It is her brand after all, so she does stick true to that. Okay, so let's go watch the launch video that she has on her page together. So here's the packaging. We have her eyes again. And then, you know, there's a deeper meaning to the palette itself. Not as nice as the previous year's packaging. I mean, these are the last couple of years. Look at that. Last year's, stunning. I believe the year before that was naughty, kind of boring. And then the year before that, Mercury Retrograde was pretty nice. This one seems kind of plain Jane compared to that. I'm a gal who cares about packaging, so you might not be, but I am. Okay, let's continue watching. Oh, that was fast, but there's some cream shadows. That's what she's swatching. This is a short video. There's not much to this one. That one has chrome flakes. That's a matte. Here's another one of the shimmers she talked about, and then her dang matte peachy shades. Okay, I'm gonna pause at a few points when we get here. I want to talk about that shadow. Oh, that looks pretty. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, this is swatching really, really nice. That's one of the cream shadows. So anyways, there's 18 eyeshadows in here and there's some interesting formulas that she put in that she does a lot with these palettes. So there's two cream shades that she used as eyeliners. There's one kind of gel and eyeshadow hybrid to give kind of a glossy look to the eyelids. There is a shade with chrome flakes. So this is one of the cream shades. This is just one of her regular metallics. I believe this shade has the chrome flakes in it. Yeah, you can see right here. Sorry, the big play button, but okay. You go on to her Instagram, there will be this video here. She has that shade, which is a shade with the gold flakes on her eyelids, which looks really amazing. So now that we've seen the palette, I'm gonna hop on over to Trend Mood 1 because we have the best visuals here that I can give you my thoughts on. Here's the palette, here's the look. I don't really like the packaging, that's fine, whatever. As I said, had a tough time deciding if this was a cool tone palette or a warm tone palette. It's definitely kind of split in half here. This you can definitely dupe within her own line. These we gotta talk about. So let's talk about the different formulas. So this palette itself, by the way, is gonna be $67. She's not cheap. This is always a big ticket item, I think, 
in the beauty industry when it comes to holiday makeup. I buy them every year, which by the way, I will be shopping this. Of course, I'm always really excited about these. So there are two gel hybrid eyeliner shadows, which is gonna be Purpose and Worthy right here. I saw in her tutorial, it, they looked a little sheer. They didn't look like they could have the pigmentation of a true eyeliner, but definitely check out that tutorial if you wanna see it in action. She also said they make a great base shade. So keep that in mind. Kind of copying Patrick Ta here with the cream shades. I'm not mad at it, but I don't really use the ones in the Patrick Ta, so I don't know how often I'm gonna use these. We'll have to see how they work as an eyeliner. When she used them in her tutorial, she used these with a powder shadow on top to kind of set it. There also is two high shine wet metallics. I'm not sure exactly which one they are going to be. I think maybe this one is it and this, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> two of those, one crushed flaked gold, which I think is either limitless or charisma. It's definitely one of the golds. So it has literal gold flakes in there, which is gonna add some texture and dimension to the lid. I'm excited to try that out. Two powder metallics and then nine powdered mattes. So there's a lot of mattes in here. And one of the shades that's really interesting, I don't know what the other one is, but she said that this was a hybrid between a gel and just a regular eyeshadow. So it creates kind of a glossy, sticky look to the lid. I'm not sure where the other one is because it says there's, I believe two of these maybe, but that's what she said in her video. She expressed that this one is, different, but this one looks kind of crazy right here, right? Okay, so overall opinions on the color story, right? I like it, but I'm a bit underwhelmed because I feel like she's really came in the last three years and killed it with these palettes. Last year was probably my all time favorite. Rose Quartz right here. It's cool toned, it's mauve it's beautiful. And then the year before that was Naughty, which was very different for her brand because it was just such a gorgeous, rich palette. I definitely see some similarities between this one and the one that's coming out this year. So that's something that I think looks similar. And then three years ago, she came out with Mercury Retrograde, which is also probably one of my all-time favorites, completely the opposite of this new Empowered palette. I feel like she normally goes a little crazy with these. So since I just loved Rose Quartz and Mercury Retrograde so much, I was hoping she would go there a little bit more. This one is definitely more safe, I would say, right? because it kind of has some resemblance to bronze palette from Natasha Denona, right? You can kind of see a resemblance minus the purples. If we threw some purples in here, they would look pretty close. This side of the palette right here, I thought looked a lot like the Wild Jaguar palette that just launched, which is a little bit more on the cooler tone side. I feel like this potentially could be dupable. I'm not quite so sure yet. There's just some palettes that Huda has that when they come out, and this is very far and few between, they look different than what she's ever launched. But the majority of the palettes she's launched, especially recently, I feel like I look at and then I can kind of literally dupe with its own line. I feel like I might be able to dupe this one, but I'm not 100% sure. It's like kind of edging repetitive but I'm not sure yet. This is something I want to get my hands on. But just based on the last three years, I am a little underwhelmed as of now. My opinion could always change in person. I don't think it's a bad color story. I think it is gorgeous. It looks nice and rich for the holidays. It looks like a color story I'd really enjoy, but I've just been blown away by the last three years that I don't know if this one is gonna blow me away. I like it though. But we'll see, you know how your opinion changes once you see it in person. So the next photo that we have are some arm swatches. So you can see them on different skin tones, though these are normally highly edited, so just keep that in mind. But you can see, here's one of the cream shades, and then all of the shimmers that look absolutely stunning. I mean, it looks good, right? This, I guess, is more so of the cooler side. And this is gonna be more so of the warm side. There's just so many matte oranges and peaches. I know she loves it. I understand, it is her brand, but <sighs> I have so many in my collection. Here's one of the promo picks that's highly edited, so we can't see much. The packaging, here's a good picture. I'm really interested to see how this bold moves looks. And this looks like one of her cream powder shades. I don't really like those, those marbled shades that much. 
I mean, that's all we have. I don't even know when it's launching. Early November, right? Or towards the end of September. There is not yet an actual date, so I am not completely sure on that. Uh, but I definitely think that this is going to be a solid in the middle palette. Unless I buy this in person and the formulas absolutely blow me away, I'm just not as excited as I was for last year's. That's my problem. Rose Quartz was just one of the best palettes to have launched from her brand ever. And this one, I don't know, I feel like this one's going to be really good on medium to deep complexions. You're going to get some gorgeous rich looks for this, but I don't know if it's just outside of the box enough. She spoiled us the last three years and gave us something different and fun. And of course we had the best quality because these are the best quality palettes. They are made in Italy. They are better than her little obsessions palettes, but she really can't stay away from purple and orange. Those are her favorite color combinations. And I don't know what I was expecting from her this year. I didn't have really any expectations. I just wanted to see what she would come up with because she does a beautiful job in these color curations. I wish we had something a wee bit more fun. But I can see this as a palette potentially that I will reach for a lot. So overall, I will be shopping this palette. It is a huge launch for the holiday season. These reviews normally end up getting some of the most views that I get for reviews. So I definitely know that you want to see my thoughts on it. So I decided to do a shopper drop on this because it is such a highly anticipated review on my channel and I 100% will be picking it up. But let's take a step back. If I was not a makeup reviewer, I do not think I would pick this up. This is definitely something that I would wait for a review before I decide so that I can see comparison swatches and if it's something that I'm going to use, especially when Huda plays with her new formulas. Sometimes they turn out to be duds. And since there are three new formulas in this palette within five shades, I definitely would hold off unless it's a color story that you're dying for. For me, it's not a color story that I'm dying for, so that's why I would wait. But that's why I'm here to review it for you. So let me know down below your thoughts on this palette. Are you into it? Are you not into it? And what questions do you have for me to answer in my review? Would you like to see me compare this to any specific palettes? Let me know. This is half of the reason why I like to do these shopper drops. I want to know what you want to know. How can I best serve you? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little shopper drop. Like I said, tomorrow we will have makeup in hand for a good old makeup review. And let's keep these holiday launches coming, brands. I'm having so much fun. Make sure you guys like this video and are subscribed to my channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a good one.